the Welcome, everybody. I'm so delighted to be here with all of you. So my intention today is to attune to the blue light beings and a channel for all of you to receive a beautiful healing in your body. Um, but before we do that, I want to share some stories about the blue light beings um, and share with you some information and some beautiful images from uh, Debbie as well. So Many of you, I'm sure, follow Pam Gregory, and uh, she's an astrologer, and she's really amazing, so grounded, filled with so much information and content, and I really encourage you to follow her. And you, if you do or do not already, you can find her on YouTube. Um, she's just wonderful. And recently, I think within maybe the last three, four, six months, something like that, she had a guest on uh, named Nancy Rebecca. And Nancy Rebecca came in and shared her uh, experiences with the blue. And um, when I heard that, like many of you who I'm sure are also having similar experiences, but don't always have a context for it or know how to share it. I was pretty astounded um, about the synchronicities and the relationship and the connections between Nancy and myself and our encounters with the blue light beings. So um, if you haven't had a chance to watch any of those interviews or follow Nancy, uh, I think she's called Intuitive Mind, and you can also check her out on YouTube, and I'd encourage you to do so. So um, as you know, I started channeling the Angel Raphael back in the late 80s during the Harmonic Convergence. It was a spontaneous awakening. I had no idea what channeling was. I wasn't trying to channel. Um, it just happened to me. And over the years, lots of different energies and beings would come and communicate with me. And some of them I really wanted to communicate with and others not so much. <laughs> um, and so I primarily always focused on Raphael as the angel of healing and so loving and gentle and just, I love Raphael, obviously. Um, but I would often be woken up during the night and asked to travel to different places in the world. And I almost always would follow the instruction and go. And during like 20, uh, 2009, 2011, 2012, I was guided uh, to go out to Mount Shasta pretty frequently. And I um, listened to that and I did that. And while I was there, I had some really incredible, magical encounters um, with beings of light during the nighttime and little lights that I saw coming into the mountain. And it was pretty profound. Um, and then when I would return home, I would get up in the middle of the night. Um, uh, I have a weak bladder and I would go to the bathroom a lot. And the, these blue beings would be in my bathroom. And then I'd come back to bed and I'd say to my husband, well, there's blue beings in my bathroom. He'd be like, please go to sleep. <laughs> and I'd say, no, but they're really tall and they're luminous and they're really sweet. And he'd be like, okay, that's great. Good night. And I'd go to sleep and i think, oh, and then I'd get up and they would be there again. And then they started coming in more of them and they would come in and they would talk to me and they're like, we want you to make a platform in your backyard. <laughs> And I was like, okay, well, like, what do you mean? They're like, no, we want you to make a landing pad for us because we're coming and we're going to be visiting you and working with you. And I was like, all right. So I wake up my husband. I'm like, we have to build a landing pad in the backyard and we had to put a dome on it. And he's like, really, seriously, like, how much is that going to cost? And I'm like, I think it's going to be like $10,000 because we have to build this thing. And he's like, Oh, okay, well, well, what is that going to do? Like, we're going to make this and then what's going to happen? And I'm like, I don't know, but we already have a Merkaba back there and that's where they want it because I had to build this Merkaba with stones for some ceremony for my sister. So he was like, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. I'm like, and then they would wake me up and they're like, are you going to make the landing pad? And I'm like, okay, so I talked to my sister, like, we need a landing pad in the backyard and she would like get into go mode right away. She's like, okay, well, let's call Jeff and he's a contractor and have him come out and measure. And, uh, and she'd be out with her ruler and measuring and I'd be like, okay, great, it's happening. So she would get things going and I'd be like, good. And then we're like, okay, well, they want us to put a dome on it. And I'm like, oh, how are we going to build a dome? She's like, let's get a tent. Like they have those big tents. We got this huge tent 
And I mean, it was it's pretty big. Yeah, I can see the landing still from my house. So we've turned it into something else now. But anyway, so we bought this big tent, we put it on, and we would go out there and we'd meditate and we wait for the blue beings and nothing would happen. And then life started to happen. Then I would invite people, we'd have moon ceremonies and we'd all hang out in the tent. And then the tent started to get mold and things were just not going well. And then my sister got really sick and she actually died and like all kinds of things happened. And we took the tent down and I just sort of moved on with my life. So I'm like, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> Meantime, we turned the landing into like a fire pit with chairs and it's like a cute spot. People go out and hang out. So I'm like, well, that was ridiculous. But then the blue beings were like, well, no, you open the portal. That's why we talk to you all the time. We needed you to open it and you energetically did. And that's how we're coming in and connecting with you. So it had a purpose. So sometimes we don't really see in the moment what's happening. Like I had this vision that a spaceship was going to land in my backyard and the blue beings were going to come out. <laughs> and that is not what happened. But I do channel the Syrian elders now. And so around 2017, they started to come in more and more. And then recently, for those of you who are in my membership and you're in the classes and I'm sharing, the Syrian elders often come. And recently, they've given us some gifts, a gift in our solar plexus of light. And sometimes we get so many beautiful gifts that we kind of forget, right? And we don't work with them. But that was one of the beautiful gifts. And then we got these tetrahedrons or pyramids on our hands in different places to help us scan and to heal. So now we're moving into the healing code and they're really coming in strong at night and they're coming into my room and they're showing me a modality or a way of us receiving more and more healing on an energetic level and they're preparing me to share this with you in the healing code. And today we'll we'll tap into it a little bit so you can begin to sense and feel it. So these blue beings, whether they're coming to Nancy, Rebecca, whether they're coming to you or to Pam Gregory or whoever, <clears throat> they're accessible for all of us, right? And they're right here and they want to attune. And sometimes we label them or call them the Syrian elders, or we call them something else, but they're galactic, beautiful beings of light that are benevolent and loving. And they have these incredible uh, capacity when we attune and ask to receive healing from them. So there seems to be some parallel connections between the energies and the channelings that are coming in with the vibrations that I'm receiving, the vibrations that other people are. And I'm sure that you have your own stories and amazing things that are also happening for you. So it just is supportive in receiving validation, like, oh yeah, okay, they're talking to the blue beings too. So at this point, I'd say all or most of you in my community are very familiar with Devishri as she is the artist of the beautiful Master Ascension Light Code Oracle deck. And her artwork is fabulous and she's going to pop in and I'm going to show some artwork uh, that she made of the blue light beings and how it connects to the water and the ice and the codes and all the stuff that's coming in and we're going to look at that so you can attune to it because we can receive activations through transmission um, such as when Raphael and the beings come in we receive activations simply um, by by sound, by color, and the other huge one is through always has been historically through art and through images. And so I truly feel that by attuning and looking at this art that that Devishri is channeling, um, that there's so much embedded and encoded in it that's so activating and important for our ascension process. So let me share my screen um, and make sure Devishri can unmute. Casey, can you make sure that the thing can unmute? I will share my screen. <clears throat> yeah, she can unmute now. Okay, hold on. But other people, please be mindful not to unmute yourself. Thank you. Yeah, and can you guys see the, the artwork? Is it big enough there? <clears throat> Case, yeah. Yeah, I think people can see it. Okay. Okay. It's full screen. So Debishree, let's um, share about this spectacular artwork and what you've, the connections between Nancy, and Rebecca. Um, hi, good morning. 
Good morning. Hello. <laughs> so um, this drawing was made just a couple of days ago um, when I was looking through uh, Nancy Rebecca's work and I chanced upon one of her latest videos that spoke about the energy of the blue beings um, at the Arctic Circle. And that just got my um, uh, attention instantly because of, of course, the activations at the Arctic Circle in June last year. And um, it also connects back to the drawing that we shared uh, in the middle of January uh, based on the transmission um, that involved uh, the communication with the inner earth waters. And it's really amazing to see how everything connects up. So um, this drawing is, um, is kind of linking the energies from the summer the solstice in June to uh, the uh, conversations and the uh, interactions with the inner waters mm -hmm. and all the information about the water and the codes from the melting ice. And so uh, as Nancy's um, uh, interpretation of the blue beings kind of creating this invisible uh, blue light shield around the Arctic. And that's what you see in, in this drawing. And it also then links up to the idea that we had the magic egg being dropped into um, the North Pole. And somehow that that opens up so many things for us today with respect to the the codes in the ice and um, and the inner earth waters, which is a completely new phenomenon for all of us to imagine as we will what they might be and who are these beings and what is this consciousness. So this is um, uh, this is the drawing uh, that also indicates if you if you see the the hexagon, which is also connecting back to uh, a photograph that I took of one of the glacial walls uh, in Svalbard. So maybe share real quick that you were in the Arctic yourself and that you dropped the egg for people who aren't familiar with that story. Oh yeah, so sure. So in um, June last year, I was um, on an expedition around the Svalbard archipelago, um, which is pretty much the closest you can get to the North Pole. And Kelly had me uh, carry this very special magic egg, which was dropped uh, at the North Pole into the Arctic Sea, into the Arctic Ocean. And so that was a whole activation. It was massively beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we had the whales partaking. Oh you know, my all God, that. it was crazy. Yeah. To get to the next slide and it's not letting me. But, but also <laughs> that's fine. So in this drawing, you see there are two small white spots, uh, one in Arizona, the other in Mexico. Because I think... Nancy speaks of, and the third one, which you don't see on the map, is in China. She speaks of these three pyramids that um, opened up to receive the blue light energy mm -hmm. late last year, in through Jan this year as well. And um, obviously, she's been working with it for a couple of years uh, before this as well. And it's but amazing. The, and she sees it as actual, like I can, can tune to the energies as beings more and she's tuning to them as simply blue light, right? Yeah, and but she also at some point mentions that she does see them like they've been represented here on purpose in this drawing mm -hmm. as these blue angelic winged beings as well. They're beautiful. And so that's why, that's how they've shown up in this drawing. And the other really amazing thing was when we went through the transmission with you, you also mentioned that the inner waters had this um, cube, which was filled with, yeah, so which was filled with uh, this chromium liquid, which is exactly what links up the three pyramids that brought in the blue light for her. Uh, and all these three pyramids have liquid mercury, um beneath them 
and that's probably why they showed up on her uh, on her, on her yeah. map yeah because it sounds exactly in, like a chromium in the <laughs> in the waters yeah. yeah in the waters so, so i thought that was amazing you were sharing with me that during class we received the transmission of both the codes melting and coming in through the ice and then the water codes coming up from the inner earth and then Raphael came in and talked about placing us in the inverted pyramid within the cube within the sphere and it within the Merkaba and it's all all connected with the chromium energy and you guys if you can look at this beautiful artwork you can also see the Taurus field moving there through and around everything and we actually put it in the arctic <laughs> we we actually have the so this is the the glacial um formations and landscapes from the arctic and so it and it's this is the same image of that portal that i uh, that i captured while i was uh, in the little boat in the zodiac along the the glacial wall mm -hmm. and so because it's um it forms this kind of pyramidal structure if you mirror it you get the hexagon and so i i see this clearly as a portal ah so i'm trying to make it work hold oh, on no there we go yeah yeah this one and so it's in some sense all the geometry um is embedded one inside the other exactly again like your transmission where you know we started with the inverted cube and then the octahedron and then the cube the hexagram and then the um the sphere right no it's amazing and you know it's so funny i mean it it seems abstract and separate but in some ways out in the back where the blue beings were to come we started by making a merkaba I so know. we made a Merkaba and then we made a landing and the landing had to be square, which is the cube. And then we had to put the dome on it and the dome the sphere. was the sphere. <laughs> Incredible, right? Amazing. Right? In like the yeah. practical 3D. Yeah. It built on itself. It was the same. And then the portal opened and then they arrived. And now the connection and the transmission happens, even though it's not necessarily set up. So that's wow. incredible. This is amazing. And the last image was just, um, yeah. And then I just realized this today when I was talking to you that there's a little blue being in the Lemurian drawing code as well. And that's the blue being is up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. And it's clearly unusual to the rest of the drawing because the others, the others are dolphins and whales and aquatic okay. beings. And this is the only being that's... Well... A blue Just being came in. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's incredible. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you. All, that. all right, everybody. <clears throat> so we're on a magical journey together. It's so much fun. So I'm going to channel now and uh, we're going to attune to the blue beings um, and connect with them. And it would be wonderful if you have a personal intention for healing. Um, I think that would is really needed. And if possible, um, maybe you could lie down for this transmission. You don't have to lay down. You can sit up. But what we're doing energetically is we are lying um so when I was sharing the transmissions and the energies that were coming in and they were showing me, um, Devishri was like, oh, it's like a med bed, which many of you may have heard of, like, right, working with the galactic beings for healing. Um, and so they've given me very specific instructions for the healing process. And I've had some healing myself and benefits from working with them. I've only been really working with them for the last three nights pretty intensely. As you know, I've had this ringing, which I know is somewhat physical, but it's also very energetic and spiritual. Um, but I'm really asking them to bring it down and they're really turning it way down. Thank you. I'm very grateful for that and feeling a lot of shifts in my body. So 
the reason they want you to be flat, but you don't have to be, but it would be helpful is because the geometry we're working with in the healing is the tree of life. If you think of the tree of life and how it, you want to imagine that it's beneath you and it's horizontal. When we get into the healing code, which starts on February 12th, we're going to go into all this in way more detail. And we're going to deeply be working with releasing a lot within the emotional body, wanting to remind you that things get met before things are manifested in the density of this physical realm they're they're starting in the etheric in the mental and the emotional body so we have to address the emotional body for any type of physical healing but this is something that will be incorporated deeply in the healing code but we're going to be addressing also a big emotional piece in addition to it but um, the imagery that we're working with is the tree of life, which is going to be beneath you and above you as you get into this space. And you are each going to start to attune to and have your own personal medical team. And I think that kind of came through last time on the Sunday call, right? We're attuning to these beings that want to come in uh, that are uh, of a galactic nature or energetic nature of a very high frequency to support you in healing. And some of them you'll start to bond relationships with and feel more connected to and get to know them. And at other times you may or may not feel anything as we go through the process and that's okay too. You just know that it's happening deeply on an energetic level. The reason that they have the um, the tree of life beneath us and above is because we it's very important because their um, frequency is so uh, high, but also sometimes difficult to fully assimilate from our perspective and a bit technological that it's very important that we're able to ground it. That's why I have two Andaras with me. I'm working with a very intense grounded one. Um, and my Syrian elder one. And we, as we do any of this work together, you'll notice that we're always doing the same thing, right? We're always going into the inner earth, to the indigenous ones, back into the na natural world, into nature. And then we're expanding up into the galactic. But you cannot have all that galactic energy coming in if you are not harnessing it and grounding it. Otherwise, it just sort of disperses or blows out your system. So that's why it's really important to integrate both. All right. So I'm going to channel. If you're new to um, what I do, I usually turn off the mic because I have to make sounds and tone and sometimes it disrupts things. I'll bring in the angel Raphael. Raphael will say hello and then we'll get into the transmission and um, I'm going to try to keep it uh, under... 30 minutes, I hope, <laughs> so that we don't go over time. Okay. All right. So please get yourself settled. Get Take some deep breaths. If you can, please go lay down and um, we shall begin. Hello. Wow. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, we are very delighted to be here with you as always. And as uh, Kelly is sharing with you, we are attuning to frequencies to support the body in mm, balance and harmonization so that it may be able to receive uh, the codes and the energy that is um, bombarding the planet at very high frequencies and has been even more recently in the last few days for the sun is um, amplifying a light that is labeled or connected to flares but are many codes that are coming in through this plasmic light and at times can create disturbances within the energetic field as you are beginning to assimilate to these higher 
frequencies. We are delighted to be here today in our intention for you to receive and attune to what is needed in the understanding of your capacity for absolute complete healing and miraculous shifts to occur in your body as you begin to open to this possibility with full assurance and faith in the acceptance that it is so. With that, we are asking you to take a nice deep breath and to breathe in and to exhale very deeply, letting go and breathing in and letting go. And in the letting go, allowing the shoulders to drop and the eyes to become heavier and heavier as you are dropping now into a deeper state, attuning to other realms and places and parts of self, as you are anchoring in new frequencies, letting go, dropping deeper and deeper. As I begin to count uh, and go down from five, to zero, you are going to go three times deeper or even more if you are wanting to fully embrace completely this healing in a willingness to let go of the conscious mind and move into a deeper state attuned and connected with the I am that I am presence. <laughs> We are tuning now to all of you here in this now moment, listening to this. And at any moment in time in which you connect into these frequencies, they will continue to be as potent and as powerful. In fact, each time you connect here, they will amplify even more deeper and deeper. Dropping down from five to four, coming into awareness of the platform that is presenting itself to you, a place of entrance, a portal, a vortex of sort to connect into other realms, dropping down into three, into the awareness of the energies beneath you, holding energetic space for the grounding and assimilating of these potent vibrations, dropping down into two, becoming aware of the energies above that are beginning to form themselves and attuned to your vibration from the galactic realms of your own brothers, sisters, from the stars and beings of light, dropping down into one, moving into the zero point energy as you begin to mobilize both frequencies, opening up spaciousness within your own heart center, dropping into zero, into the zero point itself, allowing yourself to feel light as you are floating in the abyss of the black light in the void of everything and nothing simultaneously knowing you have arrived here on earth at this time to receive the blessings that are coming in at a rapid pace as you have chosen to participate in the ascension process and move through gateways and portals into higher octaves of love. These beings of light that are here today are old, old friends and have come and been a part of the earth and assisted you for times in ancient understandings, wisdom and knowledge. And yet they are coming in and being perceived more during this timeline as you are open again and the veils are thinning and you are tuning to their frequency in which already resonates and is working within you 
and yet they are simply turning up the dial in your own deep remembering of their ancient wisdom that is here to assist you in activating your DNA and clearing away any old trauma or debris that is somehow in the way of your own life force energy emanating at its fullest capacity. Breathing in and letting go, you are laying here now on a platform that allows them to have access to you. Begin to bring your awareness to your heart, feeling your heart and attuning to your own heartbeat. In doing so, feeling and becoming aware of awareness itself and aware of the life force energy that is beating your heart without your intent and without your mind. It is happening on its own, attuning to this life force energy that is emanating through your whole body and all of the mechanisms within your physiology that are taking place in a miraculous way without your instruction, this same life force energy that is within all living things, attuning to the trees and connecting to their life force energy, connecting with the whales and the dolphins, and the water itself and its life force energy, feeling and sensing the sunlight and the wind, attuning to the Milky Way, connecting with the bees and the flowers and the butterflies and the sounds of nature and all that is taking place all around you on its own as it is plugged into a force of love, an energy that is there and present. This frequency is here to hold these higher frequencies that we speak of as higher, but are not yet better or worse, but labeled differently because they come from galactic sources and are embedded with capabilities that when merging with the life force energy within nature itself creates quickening in the healing of your own physiology. Breathing in and letting go now, attuning to the life force energy of the nature spirits, begin to become aware of your own I am that I am presence. Allow your I am that I am presence to stand before you now. This presence is you blooming and blossoming in your full divine glory where your blueprint is activated to its full potential where you are holding your divine source light. Can imagine yourself radiant and beautiful in every way, as if you are so powerful and beautiful that if photographed and in a room, simply another walking past your aura or looking into your eyes alone spontaneously heals others. This is you emanating your full life force where nothing is blocking it or in the way in which you are your full radiant divine self. Begin to become aware of yourself in this way as you sense and feel this presence. This presence is connected to you and is overseeing and loving you at every moment as you go through a more densified form of self in the human experience. And yet the pathway between you and this divine self is becoming wider and wider as the energy is flowing more and more freely 
and you're receiving what needs to be received. In this moment, begin to communicate to the I am that I am presence your intention for healing in your body, knowing that this healing is absolutely and completely possible and that in the etheric realm, it is already complete attuning to yourself in the knowing of its completion, begin to attune to that part of self and assimilate its frequency as it is radiating this divine blueprint. In the awareness of this now, you will receive three messages from the human experience of something that will help you to release what needs to be released and actions that need to be taken in order for you to merge fully with this divine healthy blueprint that already is. Allowing yourself to receive one message right now that you can do that is being asked of you to assist. Receive this message as another is coming, receiving the second message without questioning it of something else that can be done or received for you to merge with this perfect, healthy frequency. And the third is arriving, tucking those knowings and messages within you, knowing you will fully be cognitive and remembering of them with a choice to implement them in the awakening after your healing. Now you are here with your I am that I am presence, overseeing you, standing at your feet. You may lay down now as you are going to be lifted, but accompanied by your I am that I am presence. Begin to open up even more, allowing the shoulders to go back, the head might begin to move or your shoulders or body may move in a particular way or you may feel a desire to move your body and that's all right. You can allow that for a healing is occurring through the movement and the stillness itself is fine too. As you are here, you're going to feel a beam of light that is coming over you. This light is a plasmic chromium light that is very powerful and it is like a spotlight coming down over you and as it does so, you begin to feel lighter as you are receiving this plasmic light codes and it begins to move you and you begin to lift. You are energetically lifting out and that's okay. You are safe, and as you are lifting, your body is spiraling as if it is twisting and moving up further and further into a place in which you are being received into a special dome. This dome may appear to you at first like a ship of sorts, and there is nothing to be afraid of. These are the blue light beings and they love you. They are here to assist you because you have things to do on the planet. You have things to share with others to assist in the healing of the Great Mother. And so they come to heal you so that anything that is impeding your work or in the way can be dissolved now as the full expression of your light can be received. You are now entering into this beautiful space made and filled with crystal. You see purple and gold energies emanating as if they are coming out of the floor attuned to the crystal vibration. They are in the formation or the geometric pattern of the tree of life. This is a place that has been mm, brought uh, into form just for you. 
It is a pod of sorts. It's like the shape of an egg and it is laying down hmm, in a horizontal position. It is a pod of healing for you. You can go over now and lay down there. And as you are laying, you feel beneath you the geometric pattern of the tree of life. And it is emanating colors of gold and violet and chromium energy is moving through the pipe systems and energy is emanating from underneath it into you. This part of the tree of life is deeply connected to your planet, the one you call Earth that spins with its beautiful blue aura and its green light and the depth of its energies. Your planet is changing and ascending and the waters now are becoming more prevalent as they will begin in some ways to create more flooding and in other ways to create changes in temperature on the planet. This is nothing to worry about and is part of the evolutionary process, but within it there are codes and these codes are awakening energy in you and you are assimilating these frequencies. Within the tree of life are spaces that go down into the inner waters of the earth and allow you to anchor in the frequencies you are about to receive. Just relax and lay there as if you were floating in the most divine holy waters that ever were and ever shall be. As you lay here feeling at ease, as if you're almost within the womb of your mother, but yet you're in the womb of creation itself, a team of beings are arriving. These beings are here to assist you personally. Some of them will feel very familiar. Someone may arrive that you know from your human experience who has passed over, perhaps even recently or quite a while ago. Sometimes they come in to assist and are there because they are connected either on a genetic level in which they can attune to the DNA and unwind it in support for the great healers or they themselves may have become a great healer during their time in the other realms. You will begin to notice star sisters and brothers, ones that you have lived with before on other planets that feels like a homecoming, a deep connection to them. There may feel like an urge to get up and hold them or look at them or touch them, but just know that they know you and you them and they are here to assist you. You may begin to attune to the angelic realm, for we come in many forms, wearing different names and energies, attuning to our vibrations. There may be those there standing with a medical bag, or others that are holding herbs, or waters, or sprays. The indigenous ones may appear to you or it may simply be a full team of the galactic beings. These beings are coming from a council of light that are holding different frequencies related to often archetypes of gods and goddesses as well. Allowing yourself to just receive the blessings of your team with a super strong awareness of the I am that I am presence of you and your full divine self and blueprint accessible to you and available as he or she is standing before you in alignment with your team, attuning to the life force energy below. Now just take a nice deep breath and in your breathing become conscious and aware of sending a signal of clear intent of what it is you want to receive in this healing and where you would like the energies to be directed. You can even say it out loud if you prefer, or you can say it within your mind, 
or write it with your hands within the air. It may come through in a language of light, and that is okay too, but it is important to state it very clearly. In doing so, an inverted triangle or pyramid of light is creating a vortex coming into the heart center, and one is coming up underneath your back as they are merging together in the appearance of a Merkaba that is spinning in both directions, expanding the frequency and opening up the spaciousness for the light to be received. As this is occurring now, and you are laying there, simply allow the energy of this technology that is supreme and superior to anything that has been up until this now moment understood in the earth plane to begin to hover over you. This technology is very potent and capable of reversing disease and able to repair cells and DNA and begin to move it into an original state of divine health. Beginning to feel now the structure of the tree of life as it is hovering over you. You may notice the structure or familiarize yourself with it or simply trust in the allowing from it tubes of light are being inserted and are beaming down on you. You may feel them as vibrant colors or it may be more subtle. This energy is being directed through your conscious intent aligned with the I am that I am presence that is lying over you. Your I am that I am presence now hovers over you as you are laying horizontally and the technology is moving through and connected to the blueprint of your divine self as it is moving through your body and you begin to feel emerging a coming home as if the space between your I am that I am presence and this technology is becoming shorter as if uh, there is less space between and anything in between that was there blocking the vibration of the healing light to move through is beginning to dissolve as it is not able to maintain itself in these frequencies because it is no longer able to vibrate there. It is simply what you might call zapped or released as it returns back to source. Just be now in the absolute allowing of this. In the allowing of this, you may begin to feel the energy moving. Although your intent might be fear healing, let's say in your shoulder, you may feel the heat or the energy in your foot. Do not judge where it is coming in. Just allow it to move wherever it needs to move. There is a special oversoul vibration of the emotional realm who is coming in. They are rewiring where the source energy, the rooted space at the beginning of the pathology, disease, or discomfort within the body originated from. They may direct you to the origin, in which case an emotion may arise. In the recognition that the origin of the pain that you are feeling came from a certain time that may not have happened exactly at that time, but within months or a year of that time that accumulated density and got caught somewhere in the body. As you begin to bring your awareness to where the energy is stifled or caught, an awareness of something that was disruptive in the emotional field that got caught there is coming up like on a screen and you are beginning to see a picture on the screen 
of a shock that happened, a death, an upset, an argument, a feeling as if you were emotionally stabbed in some way, rejected, abandoned, or hurt. Tuning to this without judgment, for it does not have to be an epic or large drama. It could simply be how it affected your energetic field in that moment. Bringing awareness to this, a team member is coming in and with your permission, beginning to harmonize and bring into balance this disturbance as you bring the frequency of forgiveness to this situation, to yourself, and all of those involved. A decording now is happening as they are decording it as it may be linked into someone or something as an unraveling is taking place. All you need to do is say yes or agree to this as it begins to create a clearing. You may be receiving floods of images or messages or feelings. Just stay present with this and know it is part of the healing process. Now the energy may move or be directed somewhere else, allowing it to take place and aware that a color may come in. Allow the color to do what it needs to do. And with it is a frequency or a sound. If you have a urge or a feeling to make a sound or to move, that's okay. You might, however, feel very heavy as if you're paralyzed and unable to move. That simply means that the team is doing some type of surgery and they need you to be still as they are clearing something on a very deep level. Just surrender and know that you are safe. For others, you will feel a need to move, to yell, to scream, to cry. That's okay too. Whatever you are feeling is perfect. You have agreed to receive this profound healing. And now the blue light beings, as you call them, are here. And they are beginning to seal this energetic healing for you cocooning you in a beautiful blue light. Giving you a few moments to accept this, that you are worthy of divine perfect health. And you no longer need to carry this, that it is safe to let it go. They are very gently now as they are wrapping you and cocooning you, trying to return you to your home planet, dropping you back with an upgrade into your current state and place of being. They are accessible to you now and you can visit and work with them regularly as they are delighted to be supportive. We will be expanding upon this work in a much deeper way as you receive the healing code of light. Remaining connected deeply to your I am that I am present, the love of the beautiful beings of light 
a connection to your life force energy that emanates through your beautiful planet and Mother Earth that brings forth life, the same life within you, the same miraculous energy that brought you into being is fully and completely capable of healing you. It is simply a willingness to get out of its way and allow it to do its work. This healing has opened those pathways for you. And so it is. Coming back into the presence of your body, knowing your body has changed, has upgraded, and has been willing to receive this blessing. Taking in a nice deep breath and letting go. And as I begin to count from zero to five, you're going to begin to move and come back into conscious awareness of yourself in this body in a human form, moving through time and space in this dimension on earth with a greater connection and assistance from the blue beings and the I am that I am presence. One, coming into awareness of the here and now, moving your hands and fingers, your head left to right. Two, beginning to move your body more and more and taking deep breaths and coming into conscious awareness. Three, Moving even more and waking up, coming into your body, four and five, completely awake and present in the here and now. With the receiving, moving into gratitude for this healing in preparation for the expansion of the healing light code. And so it is. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. If you're feeling a little out of it, that's okay. I really, really encourage you to get a glass of water right now and drink it before drinking it to bless it and to encode it with the frequencies that were just received to receive it fully and completely, to rest, get out in nature if you can, to take a walk. If not, have a really wonderful, good night's sleep. If you felt during the healing um, kind of um, heavy or unable to move or um, pinned to the bed, then that means um, that they were doing some really deep work and that's okay, don't worry about that. And um, we're going to be working with this energy and other emotional clearings much more deeper in the healing code. We'd love to have you with us. That begins February 12th. And thank you to uh, Nancy Rebecca for sharing her gifts and Pam Gregory. I look forward to seeing everybody again on Sunday. And thank you to Devishree and Casey for being on the call. All right. I think we're good. It's exactly three o'clock. What a miracle. I love that. Perfect divine timing. All right. Much love, everybody. Have a beautiful weekend. And I'll see you next Sunday. And thank you, Devishree. Bye. Here, I'll unmute you.